the first thing the first thing that we got here is we got this is 18 meters and we got this is eight meters now what will this length be over here if that length over there is the same as that length over there and the whole thing is the same as this whole thing over here so that means this is 22 this is 8 so what will that be 22 minus 8 right which is 14 can you see that so this length here will be 14 meters and we need it we need it for the perimeter right if i go downwards i've got that entire length is going to be divided into two parts i can go up to there which is 18 and if I continue up to there, I got 12. So I've traveled a total of 30 meters for that. So this left hand side here is going to be 30 meters. My perimeter, I'm going to call it P, is going to be the sum of all the sides. So let's go 30 meters plus 8 plus 18 plus 14 plus 12 plus 22. Let's add this up. Let's say we add it up quickly on the side here. We can add it up in doses. Let's add these two. We get 38. These two is 32. And these two is 34. Simplifying that without a calculator. 30 plus 30 plus 30 is 90. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. So the final answer here I got here is 104 meters. Well done, Grishma. 104 meters is going to be the perimeter. Does that make sense now? All right, shall we try another one? Let's see if you can do another one now. Okay. Cool. You've got to find the missing sides before you can find the perimeter. All right, you're going to find the perimeter of the next one. I'm given that this is 20 meters, this is 12 meters, this is 34 meters, and this is 54 meters. Get me the perimeter for this one. Give it a shot.